All right. We have Unsweet Tiege. Thanks for the $5. Mm -hmm. He said, good to see you guys this evening. Rob, did you ever see the shoot video of New Jack saying he would shoot Joe Mo effing ass, I guess. Cracks me up. RIP New Jack. Did you ever see that shoot interview? You know what he's talking about? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. I did not. I haven't seen him say he was going to shoot my, my. I don't know if he meant you or just in somebody in general. Right. I'm going to, you know, knowing what I know, I'm going to take that as if maybe he did say me. And there is a little story to that. You know, um, most people know now I make it a practice to not put negative energy out into the universe. Before, honesty was just higher on my value list than worrying about if it was negative or positive energy, you know, until I reached a certain age. And before that, you can catch me talking shit about some people. And um, Sean Oliver was asking me in a you shoot about New Jack. And I remember saying uh, at the time that uh, I didn't think he, he knew how to do a headlock. You know, he was like what me and Sabu referred to as like garbage wrestlers. They would literally go out there with garbage cans and just hit people over the head. And uh, a lot of wrestlers do that in death matches and such and don't know how to wrestle at all. You really don't have to know how to wrestle to be able to do all that. And um, at that time, I I thought that of New Jack when I, when I recalled my answer when I was asked during the interview, and that was what I gave. I said, you know, that... Um, you know, I didn't think he had that much, and I thought, and I didn't respect him, uh, his energy either. Cause he had a negative energy, you know, and I've, I think I've talked about that, but I've been around when he's been screaming like a gangster, uh, one time that's really memorable. I'm not sure I was wrong on this one, you know, for my feelings, but we were all in a hotel room. Normally I wouldn't be in the same room as New Jack, but maybe sometimes, you know, but not normally, but we're all in this room for some reason in 97. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe 98. I, I was thinking these are two different, things, different times I just thought of, but Brian Pillman had just died. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, this is actually not 2007. I'm talking about, sorry, I'm talking about 90, 98, 99, yeah. 98. I think it's 98. Anyway, 98. We're, all in hotel room. Yeah. we're in a hotel room and we're talking about it. The fact that the news had just came out and everyone's just like in the room, all the boys are just like, man, I can't believe he died. Damn. It was a really morbid kind of energy, you know, kind of somber. Everyone was just like, God, he was just here. And then uh, New Jack goes, well, good. I hope he is dead. I hope he died. And if he didn't die, then I hope he does die. And I hope he's dead. And I hope he's in the ground right now already. And I hope worms are eating his eyeballs. And that was one of my first impressions of New Jack, where I really was judging him as, who is this dude that I'm alone in, in a room with, that I'm around, that I'm not normally around, except for like the dressing room where there's a bunch of people. And I did judge him by that and thought, you know, not the kind of guy that I want to hang out with. <laughs> and, and also, you know, uh, that just sounded like a fucking horrible thing to say. And so I did answer Sean Oliver's answer accordingly. And then uh, he interviewed New Jack and he, and he asked New Jack about me. And he said, did you ever see this? Where are these talking about you? And he showed New Jack that video. Um, and then New Jack was like, well, damn. Well, I never knew. I never knew RVD felt like that. Well, he should have said something. Then, well, fuck him then. Well, fuck RVD then. He should have said something to me. You feel like that, man? Shit. No, fuck him. Not no, no. Fuck him. You know. And I saw New Jack shortly after that in Rawway, uh, but I had made my change to where I was like, that's not me anymore. You know, like I didn't feel. Um, one, I don't, you know, want to fucking put negative energy out there anyway and talk bad about people. But also, I also, I, you know, looking at the bigger picture, you know, there's other times around New Jack where he does show like a human side. And I figure, who, you know, I don't know how much he's in the character and how much he commits to it. And also, I don't know what his beef was with Brian Pillman. I mean, they had, so he had something personal with him. I thought it was rude and 
Cal has to call call that out in front of everybody. And I mean, I still will look at it like that in front of a bunch of people that were hurt, that were mourning his loss. But either way, you know, I, I went up to New Jack, you know, when I saw him and, uh, you know, I was just like, I could crush this guy. Hey, New Jack. Hey, bro. No, nah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, anyway, yeah, I saw him a couple times after that at conventions and just treated him like, you know, like, hey, he's he's just that dude that uh, used to do that. Whether, well, I don't know why he made those choices, but firsthand experience, he didn't do nothing to me. And really, like, a lot of times, I feel like it's best to judge people uh, from that. But that was my firsthand experience was hearing him say that. And another time, in, in Boston, after he gimmicked that kid, sliced the that Eric Kulas kid open his forehead, yeah. um, he was in the back, New Jack, uh, while everyone was trying to get him out the back door so he didn't get into trouble with the cops and shit. And they were saying, dude, you fucking boom, woo woo. Hey, man, no, seriously, bro. Bro, the kid is fucked up. He said, good, good, man. I hope he die. I hope he fucking die. And that was, you know, like 97, like my first year or within my first, you know, 12 to 18 months of ECW. So I was like, that was the new Jack that I knew. So that's who I was commenting on. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe he might have said something about, I, 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 I'm going to shoot you. Shoot or whatever. you. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. But um, yeah, like uh, the Brian Pillman. Yeah. He passed away. It probably was late 97, Rob, because it said, uh, October 5th, 1997 is when he passed away. So um, probably just a tail in there.